Australia has administered more than 60 million doses of these vaccines to over 20 million people. Australia's governmental health authorities have chosen not to monitor new or emerging cancer trends following the widespread use of these vaccines. It is troubling that the Department of Health has not made data on cancer trends post-vaccination publicly available. It is their responsibility to do so. This is a critical gap in public health oversight. Given the massive contamination levels of rogue residual DNA in the Australian vials, we must expect an ongoing rise in cancers and other genetic disorders in Australia. This issue is a potential long-term health crisis waiting to happen. This matter must be taken seriously by every Australian. We must advocate for immediate public health responses. We need our health authorities to begin monitoring these trends. Without immediate action, we risk leaving Australians vulnerable to a wave of preventable diseases that may devastate families and strain our healthcare system. These gene-based vaccines should never have been considered. The technology had never been proven to be effective in preventing coronavirus infections. The technology had been shown to be unsafe long before it was used in 2021. The delivery